Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. On this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to enable the such thing called screen savers. A long time ago, Windows used to have awesome screen savers and stuff like that, but I think since Windows 10 kind of came out, I think maybe even on 8, um, you honestly don't see a screen saver. After like 10 minutes, it pretty much just goes black and goes dim and then it turns off the display. So we're pretty much going to be changing this here on Windows 11 if you want to enable that. Also on the end of the video if you want to get some pretty much Windows product keys or Microsoft Office pretty much cheap, um, I'm pretty much going to be showing you a video on there in the end of how you can get it or if not you can look at the descriptions and you can go to the links and use our discount code and you will be able to get it from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are on Windows 11, and this could be changed over time. This is just a current one. We're going to go ahead and just right-click on the desktop, and we're going to select Personalize. You want to go to Settings, and we're going to have the same layout. If not, go to Settings, and you'll pretty much see Personalization. You'll just select that right there. When we get to there, we're going to scroll down underneath where it says, if I'm correctly, I think it's underneath the lock screen. And then from there, we're going to look for the pretty much the screen saver. Now depending on your screen timeout, so let's see if it's set up in 10 minutes, it's kind of like no point because if you have a screen saver and after 10 minutes it's honestly going to just skip it and go to straight black. So I'm going to pretend like I'm going to set up the screen saver underneath you 30 minutes. So after after 10 minutes it will actually stay underneath showing the screen saver. Okay, and this is a little change that happens. I know lots of times we do like this. So here we are back and I honestly hate that because now we have to just come back to personalization and step again. Uh, we're going to go again to lock screen. So now we pretty much changed the screen timeout to like 30 minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and go to screen savers. And we're going to go ahead and change this. Now you can change this by default to less minutes. You can put in one minute. But usually your average like to set this like to 10. That's where that comes into apply. Now if you have this set up as 10 for the screen saver turn on. And the same 10 minutes that the screen timeout comes out. It's going to skip and go to timeout. So here we are, and there's a few others. And honestly, I'm probably going to see if I can bring some of the old classic ones. They honestly had an old time, and they actually think they kind of honestly stole the text version. Honestly, let's see if it shows it. See, so it says Windows. Oh, they changed it. They patched it. There was a time period that actually said, like, Windows 10 underneath there. So it's kind of funny. But regardless, these are pretty much different screensavers. And there's blanks, and there's bubbles. Bubbles used to be popular. I used to remember that a lot on, like, Windows Vista and stuff like that. And the, they're pretty much different types of ones. And then you can do your photos. If you had photos from your own library, you can choose them. So for example, you'll choose settings, and you'll go to browse, and you'll choose that. By default, you'll choose pictures. If you have a folder within pictures, you'll select that folder, and you pretty much get this concept for it. That's pretty much what used to be regular popular today. The ribbons were regular popular too. Honestly, later, I'm going to see if I can download some of the old Windows 7, and we can probably import them underneath to Windows 11 if you want to. And that was pretty much that one. I think on ribbons, you can change the settings. No, some, some of them have features where you can set them up super quick. So that's why I go to bubbles. So some of these aren't, they're very limited because this is pretty much old. Let's see if we can go to the text. So on text, it says windows, and we can change this text right here. We can select the resolution, the size, um, the speed rotation. So I'm going to pretend this is going to go fast. I'm going to put the resolution high. And I'm going to say, like, like, hello world. Let's see what happens, okay? And you can change this to different fonts too. You understand this can be anything. Let's see if I can find some. Well, yeah, let's see what's here. You can change it. I like to use like impact. Let's see what comes up. Oh, there it is, impact. And that's the one. You can choose in bold, stuff like that, sideways. It's pretty much how you want to set up. If you want solid color, stuff. this has pretty much has awesome cool features. It's pretty much your own tweaking that you want it to be. I'll press OK. So now when I press preview, this is pretty much what you'll see here. On your screen saver, it's pretty much set like that. Now, honestly, I'm not sure if it captured this or not because this is a virtual computer, but that's pretty much your concept. This is where pretty much you're into screen savers. This is where it goes into pretty much to power management. That's what we were just said. It's actually bringing the old legacy right here. We have it to 30 minutes. So let's say if you have it set up as 10 minutes and you want it to be in one minute, then you're pretty much fine. Or in five minutes, you can, and that'll come up. But if you want it to be in 10 minutes, then you understand you would have to change your time set of when you want it to be there. So 30 minutes would be set for it. And if not, you just have to press save changing settings and you're pretty much set. And that's pretty much it. Later down the road, I'll probably be showing you how to make some more videos and stuff and how to bring some of your old classic ones. I used to like some of the old Windows XP ones, so I might be able to copy them and see if we can somehow import them underneath the new Windows. But that may apply because I know it's pretty old on those systems. But we are pretty much good. And that's pretty much it. 
Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key, and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations, how to do it. It's pretty simple, and just choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and select Add to Cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key, and then here we are. I'm going to go ahead and go to Checkout, and you can use our discount code called Helton's Computer Repair, and press Apply. This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.